잠시만요. Hello, Kim. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Ah, uh, yes. Can you hear me well? Mm. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry because I'm late. I will just extend our time for three minutes. Anyway, how are you today, Kim? Mm, I'm fine. Okay, so what did you do today? I... I had yes. I had um a test. I uh, um I go to the school and. Uh, test. Okay, that's nice. So, how ma how uh, did you get the correct answer? I I mean, did you get the perfect score in your test? What is your score in that test, Kim? Um, is um. Uh, what? I perfect? Did you get the perfect score? Uh, yes. Oh, wow. Nice. How many items in total, Kim? Uh, I need... Uh, um, one, one hour. Okay. So now, Kim, thank you for answering my question. I'm glad because you got the perfect score in your test. Okay. So today, we are going to have a practice test for listening. We will continue our lesson yesterday. Okay. So we're done with this part one. Is that right? Mm, yes. Okay. Can you see my screen, Kim? Uh, yes. Yes. So here, we will proceed with part two. Okay. Ah, I think we're done with all this, this one also, right? Mm, yes. Okay. So let's proceed with part three. Oh, we're not yet done with this. So what did Lucky do last week? I want you to listen and draw a line from the day to the correct picture. Here it is. Are you ready to listen? Yes. Okay, sure. Part three. Look at the pictures. What did Lucy do last week? Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Lucy. What did you do on Saturday? Oh, I helped Mum and Dad, Uncle Tony. Did you help them in the garden? Yes. There's lots of work to do there. Can you see the line from the word Saturday? On Saturday, Lucy worked in the garden. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. What did you do on Tuesday? I went shopping with Mum. To buy some food? Yes, we bought lots of food on Tuesday. Food on Tuesday. Two. And did you have a good day on Sunday? Yes, we were all at home. Your brothers, Tom and Bill, too? Yes. It was a nice sunny day. Mmm, we all played football in the garden. Three. I saw you on Monday. No, it was Friday. Did you? Where? By the shoe shop. Oh, I didn't see you. 
No, I drove past in the car. Did you buy any shoes? No, I didn't like any. Four. And were you at home on Wednesday? Um, well, after school I was. Did you play in the garden? Yes, my friend, Alex, came to my house and we both played outside. Does she go to your school too? Yes, she's in my class. Five. And what did you do on Thursday? Did you go shopping again? On Thursday? No, I watched TV. What did you watch? The football? Yes, it was a great game. Yes, I watched it too. Now listen to part three again. One. What did you do on Tuesday? I went shopping with Mum. To buy some food? Yes. We bought lots of food on Tuesday. Okay, do you want to listen again, Kim? Mm. Yes or no? Yes? Or no. No, okay, let's check your answer. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you got six answers. What's your correct answer? Um, Thursday, um, watch TV. Sunday, play football with friends. Um, Tuesday, uh, uh, go shopping, buy food with mom. Okay. Uh, and and Friday, uh, both shoes. Okay, so let's check. You got it right. Very good. Okay, great job. So for this one, Kim, you got a perfect score of five out of five. Very good. Now let's proceed with part three. I want you to listen and tick the box. There's one example. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What did Sally have for lunch? What did you eat for lunch, Sally? A burger. Only a burger? And some french fries. Did you drink anything? No, nothing. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. What did Ben do yesterday? What did you do yesterday, Ben? I played basketball. With some friends? No, with my brothers. How many brothers have you got? Four. Four brothers. Great! 2. What did Fred see yesterday? Where did you go yesterday, Fred? I went to the zoo. Did you see any lions? No, but I saw some pandas. Pandas? Yes, and a lot of monkeys. Oh, I love monkeys. Okay, let's check. So we have here, what did Ben do yesterday? B. What did Fred see yesterday? Letter C. So what about numbers 3 and 3 to 5? Please listen. 3. What does Jim have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast, Jim? Bread and milk. Only bread and milk? No, I have fruit too. What kind of fruit? Bananas? No, apples and pears. 4. What pets has Peter got? Peter bought a new pet yesterday. What is it? A rabbit. He's got lots of pets. Yes, he's got a cat, a dog and now a rabbit. And a parrot. Oh yes. 
five. Where does Jill live? Do you live in the countryside, Jill? Yes, I do. In a small house next to a lake. In the mountains? No, not in the mountains. Okay. Number three, what does Jim have for breakfast? A, what pets has Peter got? A, where does Jill live? B, very good. That is five out of five again. So now, Kim, let's proceed with part five, last part. I want you to listen, color, and draw. There is one example. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you see the ball? What? You mean the basketball? That's right. Can you colour the basketball? What colour? Colour it brown. OK. The basketball is brown. Can you see the brown basketball? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and draw. One. Can you see the word shop? Yes, it's in big letters. That's right. Can you colour the letter H for me? Colour the letter H. OK. What colour? Colour it red. OK. Two. Are you good at drawing? I'm OK. Why? I'd like you to draw an eye. An eye? Where? On the sheep. OK. I'm giving the sheep an eye. Three. You can colour again now. Good. I love colouring. There are some flowers on the scarf. That's right. Shall I colour them? Yes. Colour them blue. Can I colour them yellow? OK. Colour them yellow. Four. What can I do now? You can draw some stars for me. Stars? Where? Draw them on the kite. There are some stars on the big hat. That's right. But I'd like some stars on the kite. How many? Two. Five. The last thing now. OK. Can you see the guitar? Yes, I can. What colour would you like? Uh, black. Uh, no, black's not very happy. I'd like green. All right. Colour the guitar green. Now listen to part five again. Okay, so now let's check your answer. Color the letter H in the word shop red. Very good. Draw an eye on the sheep. Very good. Color the flowers on the scarf yellow. Okay, this is the flowers on the scarf. This is a scarf where you put on your neck when it's cold. Then number four, draw two stars on the kite. Great job. Color the guitar green. Okay, very good. So for this one, you got four out of five. Okay, since we still have time, Kim, 
Part we five. Will, we will proceed with our um, speaking practice test. Okay, so here, look at the picture, Kim. Circle and find the difference, then tell me about it. Okay, so wait a minute. This is picture one and this is picture two. Picture one, the um the boy uh, uh picture one the girl uh, has fly uh fly the kite flying the kite but picture two the boy flying the kite. Mm. picture one and the. Uh, the the plane is uh, the plane's color is a uh, red. But picture two, the plane uh, color is yellow. Picture one, the man, the the man, the plane driver, um, uh, have have has a. Uh, has um hat well picture to the man um, the paint driver uh hasn't uh a hat picture one the the plane the frog uh on the plane but picture two the bird uh it is on the plane Picture one, the there are three clouds. But picture two, uh, uh, picture one, the there are two clouds. But picture two, are there are three clouds. Okay, very good, Kim. Uh, thank you because you find all. The differences between picture one and two. So for that, I'm going to give you five out of five. And I appreciate because you are now able to answer me in a complete sentence. I can see improvement. Okay. So here, Kim, let's talk about the places that you go. Where do you go at the weekend? I stay at home. Okay, you say, uh, usually during weekend, I only stay at home. Mm. Okay, I will write. Or you can say, I only stay at home on the weekend. Can you please say? Uh, I only stay at home on the weekend. Very good. Number I question. Next question. Who do you go? Uh, no, it doesn't apply. So who's with you when you're at home? Uh, Um, I go, I stay at home with my family. Okay, uh, you stay at home with your family. So where do you like going in the holidays, Kim? Uh, I like going to, uh, to the, uh, I like go, I like take a trip, taking a trip uh, in the holiday. Okay, you want to, to go on a trip in the holidays. So now, Kim, I want you to tell me about your school. Mm. Mm, my school, uh, my school color is gray. Uh, and and uh, mm, they are big 
there are many stairs on it. Mm, there are many students. Mm, there are playground. Um, play playground. Uh, um, playground. Teach building. Uh, um, canteen um, and and library Okay. Uh, uh, in in the uh, in the school. Okay, very good. So I heard. Thank you for your answer, Kim. I heard that you say my school color is green instead of saying my school color. You it is say, it's gray. Gray. I gray. I'm sorry. Yeah. Instead of saying my school color, you can say the color of my school is gray. Uh, the color of my school is gray. Then instead of saying there are playgrounds, since playground is only one, you say there is a playground. There is a playground. Okay, so any question, Kim? No. Okay, so now I want you to look at the picture. So instead, uh, aside from staying at home at the weekend, where do you go or where, where do you want to go at the weekend? Um. I like go um, and go. Um, I go to the cinema at the weekend. Okay, who do you go with in the cinema? My mom. Okay, very good. So here. Look at the picture, Kim. What animal do you like best in the zoo? Um, um, panda. Oh, you like panda. Tell me about panda, please. Mm, because uh, panda, uh, panda is cute and it can eat uh, many many bamboos. Okay. Um, and it also is, is, uh, national treasure. Okay, yes, that is right. Yeah, so here, Kim, okay, so where do panda live? I live in China. Yes. Yeah. Have you watched the movie Kung Fu Panda? Kung Fu Panda? Yes. Do you like it? Mm, yes. Why do you like the movie? Mm, because mm, the the film um the the panda is um, um have um, 
Kung Fu and I like eat um, um, and bombs. Okay, so that's nice, Kim. Thank you for answering my questions. Okay, keep on answering uh, in a complete sentence. Yeah, there is improvement, but I just I still want you to practice answering in a complete sentence and try to expand your answer since it's already time. Okay, do you have any question, Kim? No. Okay, so thank you for joining my class. Enjoy your weekend. Have a good night and see you on Monday. Goodbye, Kim. Goodbye, teacher. Bye.